I decided uh, to take today to more so go back and play Persona 3 FES. I mean, I don't really know if I have much to say in the grand scheme of things, but I'll do my best. You are now thinking of Shinji Yakutsuki breaking into Yukari's room and sniffing her underwear. I don't know how this is gonna go in the remake. I'd be interested to see if they are gonna have like 2D animation cutscenes and whatnot, but if everything is in 3D, I wanna know how that goes. You can't plug your ears and cover your eyes. It's kind of a little detail to the protagonist, and I kinda wish that they did more with it. Hey. What do you have a gun? It's sorta like a hobby. Aren't those illegal? It's for self defense. Pretty sure a chunk glove will get the job done. Perfectly fine. I don't think you need a gun. It's not a real gun, of course. I don't think that matters to the cops. A gun is a gun. Pretty sure they're just gonna take it away from you regardless. So, any questions? Does that kid live here too? What kid? What are you talking about? Come on, it's not funny. This just in. Teenagers kidnap a child. Hello? Please answer the door or I'll get in trouble. I mean, that sounds more like a you problem than anything. You decide you had better not ignore her. I did not decide to not ignore her. I decided to ignore the fuck out of her. It's not my fault if she gets in trouble. Are you ready to go? I mean, I can find myself. Oh, really? The fuck do you care? I'll be late if I damn well want to. Why were you late? Man, I got here when I could. Shit, you're not my fucking mom. About last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? <laughs> Stripes, huh? I wouldn't have guessed that. Don't judge me! Are you the new student? No, I'm the janitor. The student behind you is trying to get your attention as if I fucking care. We came to school with Yukari this morning, right? Do you know if she has a boyfriend? What if she immediately said that she was into girls, huh? Man, I knew it. I mean, why wouldn't she? I hear talking. Join the club, we got jackets! I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Also, you just believe that's the case? Did you just pick that out, Mr. Super Sleuth, huh? Did you just figure that shit out? Here are lots of people talking. Yeah, okay, how about that, asshole? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. You sound like a guy that's gonna get in trouble for allegations years later in the future. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? I don't know, ask Jehovah's Witnesses. They don't seem to have a problem with it. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Just digs into his pocket and hands him just a bunch of fucking soil. <laughs> There's your dirt. Don't say anything about last night, all right? I mean, pink stripes, that's uh, new. Wait a minute, don't get the wrong idea. Ah, uh, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. <laughs> Bull fucking shit! <laughs> Ever heard of a game called Persona 2? You're probably pretty tired, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early tonight. Why? So you can gallivant around with a fucking gun? If it wasn't for the story of this game and everything, this whole dorm would sound like a, sound like a couple of teenage girls who are wanted for like some crimes and whatnot, and they're acting like nice people until I go into a basement and find like a bunch of guys who have been castrated and whatnot, and then they knock me out and the same thing is gonna happen to me. I'm just saying. There's- this is too much of a coincidence to not be the case. This isn't a game, Akihiko. Um... My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. I look forward to seeing you! 3% of the time in this game. Why are you here? Well, to be honest, I do have other business here. I still have a theory that more so y'all are keeping me here just so that you can harvest my organs. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just gonna say it. This other night I saw... Y'all changed your tone real fucking quick there, didn't you? The fuck y'all know? You got quiet all of a sudden. What the fuck you know? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Ti I'm sorry. What? What the fuck y'all know? You must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. The moment I brought up the thing about the kid, he immediately goes, "Hey, maybe you should go to bed early." I'm just saying. Basement. This is a cautionary tale about how you shouldn't go into other people's houses uninvited. I'm just saying. This is the starting point of a lot of horror movies. I'm just saying. They make up meat and then I go into the bathroom to only find like a decapitated body. And it just whispers to me, don't eat dinner. Only to find out that it's human meat that they're serving. I'm just saying. So how's he doing? They're watching me. This is the start of a lot of horror movies. Is no one going to question this? Hi there, inconspicuous old man and mime. 
My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. As you can no doubt tell from the length of my nose, usually it's shorter and drooping, but as you can see, it's right and erect. It's larger than it has any right to be. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, so Elizabeth, right? Uh, I have to ask a question. Why do you stay around with a man like him? Well, do you see the shape of his nose? Uh... Yeah, they'll have no further questions. It's been years since we've had a guest. As you can no doubt tell from my bloodshot eyes, I've spent far too many times a cooped up in this cramped elevator, relieving myself over and over again with no lotion whatsoever. <laughs> what a great moment to join stream too. <laughs> Would you like to know how many times I relieve myself? Um... I- I mean, how- how's the situation down there? Down there? What perhaps could you mean? Uh... Wait, where- Where do you- I- I, uh, uh, what, what, what? What do you think my nostrils are for on this nose? God. You can blame Kagano for my sense of humor. <laughs> what, are you all children of Igor? Yes, apparently. <laughs> Actually, I have no idea. Igor gives birth to these Jesus assistants. Well, I mean, his bottom half doesn't work, so he's got to use his nose for something else. <laughs> Everyone is now imagining. Igor ejaculating from his nose. Oh my god, no! His nostrils are spraying no. forthwith upon no. all of the. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I think you're just... His big bloodshot eye. <laughs> If you would properly stroke my nose, let my nostrils spray forthwith upon all of this room. Turn this from the velvet room into the white room. <laughs> that you abide by the contract and assume responsibility. <laughs> a little too well with what I made up on the spot there. <laughs> uh, I understand. Hold on to this. <laughs> he grabs an extra pair of gloves. <laughs> just, just, and then, on my command, move the hand back and forth until... The deed has been fulfilled. <laughs> Obtain the velvet key. Till we meet again. Now, Elizabeth, if you wouldn't mind getting the gimp suit. <laughs> As the velvet room disappears, you just hear gears turning and the chains rattling and a sound of a whip. <laughs> you should cheer up too, after all. You got me for a friend. I mean, is that a normal friend or a friend with benefits? I'm just saying, man. Look, I'm, it's not gonna stroke itself. <laughs> you got a friend in me! <laughs> The same as last night. Very good. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and bring him to his, bring him out of his room and drag him to the basement. I believe it's time for another sacrifice. Kid who's fucking ignorant, doesn't know any better, gets a fucking one-way trip to a new city and gets to stay with some tenants free of charge. They come in, they come downstairs and see him pull out guns. 
immediately think he's a threat, and when they relate, and when none of the tenants relate the story, they're like, oh, wow, oh my god, I'm so sorry, uh, hi, welcome to a new dorm, you're welcome to stay here, get comfortable all you want. Like, there is a kid who has, there is a kid that apparently is not part of this dorm, and apparently is supposedly, like, just pops in and out of nowhere, and anytime I bring it up, they change their fucking tone, and they start, uh, getting shifty, it's like, Hey, maybe you should go to bed early, you know? Just get that, get a good old, wake up early in the morning. Just, it, it's just a little too on the mark for a fucking horror story. I'm just saying, there is a basement full of missing people that have been chopped and dismembered, and they, and every night they have a plate full of quote unquote meat pies. I'm just saying. This is a cautionary tale about. Going into a nerd place uninvited or getting a free trip to somewhere. I am just saying it is a horror game. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. As opposed to your other culprits? How the hell did you treat them like biology subjects? If anyone doubts what I'm talking about, go watch a comic got kill episode one. This is it almost plays off very fucking similar. Guy on the street gets an open invite to go to this prestigious royal mansion and tend to this family who full nice people and turns out that they're all sadistic fucks who take in newcomers to the city and everything and torture the shit out of them. I am just saying. You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Oh my god, it's a three foot tall dildo! Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? I can get take out a contest now think about what you said. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Yes, but not an ordinary one. It had flippers in a blowhole. What the? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> that hits a little too well with my copy. <laughs> Akiba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. Does this belong to a missus or a mister? If this wasn't a whole thing of a shadow emergency, they go to this door which leads to the basement and they run to it. <laughs> Taggy just goes in, sees all the body, and then he gets knocked out. That's it for him! I'm just saying! Go on, Shadow. Don't you support gay rights? I, I do! <laughs> I have achieved bisexuality! <laughs> power against evil bisexual rights as a bisexual sort of can't confirm it seems for the time being the young man has gotten back into the closet <laughs> can you hear me look Ikari, this is a simple solution just drop his pants lift his cheeks and then shove your hand up his butt that should do the trick if you notice the chair is shaped like a harp i just realized that and also that the velvet room is shaped like an elevator. You know what else is shaped like an elevator? A room. And you know what rooms have? Closets. <laughs> Got him! This whole story is a coming out of the closet story. You know, I just realized it's kind of ironic that I'm making this whole story about coming out of the closet when you realize what happens to protagonists at the end. <laughs> Persona 3 is just an allegory for bisexuality. When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. God, that notion of bisexual rights and everything, that is going so well with the vagueness that Igor is spreading. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The more powerful your social links, the more powerful your bisexuality. You're awake. Why is my dick sore? And where are my pants? Why do my hands have chain cuff sores? What the fuck did you do to me? What the fuck happened while I was out? How much sleep do you need? It's been a whole week. 
a week in which she does not elaborate on. I usually do this with someone who's a lot more, you know, conscious. Yes, I am implying that she used the vegetable of the protagonist that he is as a boy toy for an entire week. Yes, I am implying that. We call it Persona. I need a mod of this game where it's just like anytime they say Persona or abilities, just say bisexuality. Oh my god, that would be awesome. I'm sort of like you. We're not related, are we? It's not by blood. Ah, okay, that's cool. Morning. You seem to be doing pretty well. Yeah, I sure the doctor healed my nuts up pretty good. That's good. <laughs> Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? A week ago, or should I say two weeks ago, I was under the impression that y'all were fucking murderers. Do you remember the night you came here? I mean, the night you put a gun to my face? Yeah, sure. The street lights went out, nothing was working, there were coffins everywhere. The ghost of children that you killed previously? Like, yeah, I remember all that. A time period hidden between one day and the next. I don't get it. I mean, at this point, it would be much more easier to believe y'all are just fucking murderers. I know how you feel. Who would believe such a story? The police? Like, I I'm still under the impression that you guys are just kidnapping people and castrating them. I'm just saying. Why the hell couldn't we go down that back door again? You know, it's a joke, but at the same time, like, it's very believable. And we're still not thinking this isn't in any way a horror story. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. So what you're saying is... Y'all are into... Necrophilia. I see. Yeah, just, just one sec, I, I gotta make a call. What about the police? Unfortunately, the police can't do anything during the dark hour. How convenient. What he's trying to say is... We want you to join us. Nope, 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 no, 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 I ain't involved in some fucking depraved necrophilia shit here. Ah, nope, 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 nope. Leave that for a high school of the dead fan fiction. Just keep it out of my life. These are supposed to be the good guys? I can't say no. My request for reload. Have an option to say no, and then the game just ends. Soon. The end will come. The vague, cryptic shit is working against this game. How does that help this game's case? I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. <laughs> as soon as I say that, my phone goes off. Personas are just an allegory for bisexual. Uh, it's bisexuality. Personas are just an allegory for bisexuality. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Bisexual rights takes over the world and saves it from its own undoing. <laughs> Do you remember when we first <gasps> Wait, 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 hold on. It's June 16th. Happy Pride Month! <laughs> it's June 16th, it's Pride Month! Oh my god, I just realized I like so fucking well! <laughs> just realized now I don't pay attention to the months anymore the fact that I was doing all these jokes and just now realize it's Friday month is just it is so fucking fitting I gotta when I export this I'm gonna title it bisexual saves the world I gotta title it that <laughs> I gotta Maybe I'll make like a maybe I'll make like a highlight reel and put it on my main channel. It's just bisexual saves the world. Bisexual saves the world from cannibals. There we go. I have effectively turned the protagonist into a bisexual, Mitsuru into a cannibal, Yukari into a sex fiend, and Akihiko is just there. Where's my fucking Snapcube fandom of this game? Oh my god, we need a real-time fandom of this game. Oh my god, I need this.
I told him about I mean, Persona four, Persona 3 Reload is coming out. I mean, I'll just say, and we, if people want it that badly, we could probably get a P3, P3 fandom. I'm just picturing him crying like a baby. Akihiko going, shh, just brushing his head. Shh, that's completely normal in the beginning. <laughs> I'm turning these people into fucking monsters. You can think of it as a shadow nest. I'm just picturing a bunch of birds. <laughs> just as soon as Taurus comes out. Rock, rock, free me, milking, rock, rock. <laughs> I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. And because the game does absolutely nothing with him pretty much throughout the majority of this game, I'm just going to make you think of what he's doing while they're all out. You are now thinking of Shinji Ikutsuki breaking into Yukari's room and sniffing her underwear. Why are you- oh my god, why are you doing that, Sozo? Just to make you hate him. Just to make you hate him. Who- okay, I'll be honest, who gives a fuck about Ikutsuki? Who really does give a fuck about Ikutsuki? I even in terms of hating him, who gives a fuck? Well, he has- he pretty much adds absolutely nothing to this game. Just give us some reason to fucking hate him. Well, I mean, the end of the game- I mean, he does one thing at the end of the game, sure, but that's about it. Give us some reason to fucking hate him. Some more to go off of. So there you go. There is your reason for hating Akutsuki. Whenever he, whenever everyone else is gone, he breaks into the girls' room and sniffs their underwear. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that is canon until proven otherwise with Reload.